Hello. It is Wednesday, May 8th. And I was going to do this Monday and get it over with, but then I didn't want to go. And I didn't really have time yesterday, so I'm going today. <laughs> the next two days I will not be able to go, especially tomorrow. I could probably make it Friday afternoon, but I'm going to do it now so I don't have to worry about it anymore. I'm tired of it being on my calendar and my reminders. And that is to get the urinalysis done see if there's still a problem and if there is uh, <laughs> oh, I'm shuffling around doctor's appointments it's unbelievable it's like I'm 80 years old or something it, I just can't there's just so many doctor's appointments I put this off and update, I mean the, you know, the, I get my stitches out uh, Tuesday, um, I get the ultrasound on this Monday, I'm just going to go do it, see if they find anything, because we don't know what caused it, right, on the uh, lymph nodes. Hi, it is Thursday, May 9th, and... It started off well. This morning was good. Uh, my project started off going off really smooth. And then toward the end, it got kind of bumpy. And I found out I screwed up on something simple. That isn't even the main thing here. I get home and as soon as I, I haven't even unlocked the door yet, the phone rings, it's my doctor. And as you know, earlier this week, I went in to do a urinalysis because there's been blood in my urine. And so they had me go in uh, and do it again today or the other day. And there's, it's still there. Um, and so now I'm going to be sent to a freaking specialist because they don't know why it would be there. I don't, I, I don't even know. I, I don't even know what my, I, can I stop having things wrong with me when I go to the doctor? I, I'm really frustrated, you know, because I just wanted to get my my hysterectomy done this year and that be the big thing you know but now there's gonna be another doctor calling me to uh, schedule an appointment Probably some kind of renal specialist or something. And I'm tired of it. <laughs> I'm just so tired of it. Like, now I'm sitting here thinking, what if there is more wrong than just, you know, the hysterectomy thing? What if things get turned on their head and I have to, what if I have to get, two surgeries this year like I, three counting the cyst removal I, I just don't even I don't even know I'm frustrated I'm frustrated with general health things I'm frustrated I'm frustrated I'm frustrated with myself 
you know? I mean, I've been at this job for a year and a half and I enjoy it, but I still feel new. Like I don't, I don't know. But I guess even seasoned people screw up on things, so there's that. I just, oh, thank goodness my therapist already talked me through worst case scenario for today. And today it wasn't worst case scenario, it was just a little uh, cringy moment for me, a little embarrassing. Um, yeah. I didn't remember, I, anyway, I can't talk about it, but I, I just, and the thing is though, I thought I had looked at the thing that I should have looked at, I, I don't know, maybe I, I don't know, I don't know. But I guess the mind plays tricks sometimes. I, I'm not really sure. That's where I am. And I thought I'd, you know, I just got home. And I mean, the, the call from the doctor was just seconds ago. So I pulled my camera out and I'm telling you, I just, I don't know. It's crazy. Um, that's it for right now. I don't know. I'll update you. This, this isn't really at all what I wanted to do for this vlog either. Hopefully this weekend, you know, hopefully tomorrow will go much better. I think everything else I have down is good. Hopefully tomorrow is much better. Hello. It is Friday evening after work and uh, I'm doing better. Today at work was better. I don't want to beat myself up over things, so I'm not going to. I did pretty well today, I feel like. Um, the meetings today went a little smoother. I was a little more composed. As far as my um, specialist thing, um, no one has called yet. They'll probably call next week. Um, like I said, I think it'll probably be a urologist or something. Maybe not a renal specialist, but a urologist. I don't know quite what the difference is, but I know renal has to do with kidneys. They might start with a urologist. I'm still a little frustrated about it, but of course, uh, you know, you get used to the idea after a while. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. So, um, as they say, it is what it is. And uh, hopefully it doesn't delay my surgery or anything, because I do want to get that over with. And hopefully, it's nothing serious. It can just be solved with some kind of medication or maybe I have to take another antibiotic. I don't know. I was hoping for a better today, day today and I got it. Just got done with the ultrasound. It took about probably 10 minutes. If that, I don't know, was it really 10 minutes? It seemed long. The doctor's supposed to get back with me, you know, because the technician, you know, they can't tell you anything. But hopefully, you know, I don't know. I tried to see if there was anything to see, and of course I don't know anything on an, I can't read an ultrasound, I don't know, you know. She just took a lot of pictures, and she's going to send it to him, and he's going to tell me what's what. So this week is a week of appointments. Tomorrow I get my stitches out. I'm really excited about that because they're starting to get a little annoying. Um, and I want to move on with my life. 
<laughs> so there's that and I'm headed back to work now. Well, that was quick and easy. Of course, I remember the last time I did this years ago. I mean, taking out stitches usually doesn't take that long. So, um, and everything seems fine. I was ready for those to come out. And so I get to have a day off from uh, doctor appointments and uh, so tomorrow I don't have to go anywhere but um, Thursday's the big one. Thursday's the one I've been waiting for. My surgery consultation. Hello there. I am so it's so humid. I'm sweaty. <laughs> um, it's Thursday. May 16th, I finally, finally got my surgery consultation, and I like this surgeon, uh, I knew I probably would. Oh, so, there's not a lot of my cervix left, um, from the two leaps. I'll go pick up my lunch, I'm on my way back to work. But um, because of the lack of cervix, um, there's a, the biggest risk for me is damage to the bladder, which will be in a catheter and all this stuff. Ugh. Um, but, you know, that might not happen as well. It's fine. Um, they're going to try to do the laser thing. And... Um, time off work is six weeks. I'm going to go to work and start filling out the, start doing my LOA request. I will need caretakers for a week or so, probably, you know, like a week and a half, two weeks. Um, she says she definitely wants them to stay with me as long as I'm not on narcotics. She said I should be able to drive after the narcotics are out on my system and stuff and things like that. So that's, you know, better than when my boss from a few years ago got it. She couldn't drive and it wasn't because of the narcotics. It was because of the incision and everything. So they didn't want her to stretch out her leg um, and pull things. Have a a tentative date. I go back in in a couple of weeks to get an ultrasound so she can um, get the size of my uterus and everything. Uh, I have a tentative um, surgery date in about a month. By the way, I was going to say, speaking of bladders, the blood in my urine. I see a urologist tomorrow. This has been a week-long thing of doctor's appointments. Tomorrow's Friday. I see the urologist. Um, she said that if there is a bladder infection, my surgeon, um, it's going to be cleared up before we do surgery. So, um, whatever. I don't think, I'm not too worried about the microscopic blood in my urine. Um, I think there is some kind of infection, but antibiotics, right? So... I think that is everything. This Friday afternoon, I'm at the urologist. And we'll see what happens. I don't know. I'm gonna have to wait like 10 minutes, she said. So I thought I'd check in. And um, I, I've gotten all my paperwork ready for the tentative uh, surgery date as far as um, putting in leave of absence for work. So I got that started. And I just hope there's not too much going on with this bladder thing or whatever it is. 
so that it doesn't delay anything. I don't really want to take antibiotics again. I just did that. But I guess we'll talk about all that. Hello. It is Saturday, May 18th. Unbelievably. And uh, I just got my hair done. And I just wanted to let you know all that doctor stuff is over now except for the hysterectomy. There are no more worries. Um, so the thyroid thing, I'm good. I just keep taking my medicine. I didn't have to up the dosage or anything. The thyroid is functioning normally now. So there's that. The lymph node check that my uh, doctor made me do. Um, I did an ultrasound. There was nothing there. It was benign. Also, the whole urinary tract, you know, bladder thing, blood in the urine, um, that was a false positive. The uh, doctor's office um, just uses a dipstick and it comes up positive. Um, and so to make sure, you have to look through a microscope, which is what the urologist did, and he's like, I didn't see anything. Um, other than my weight loss, <laughs> not going so well right now, um, I, I feel good, I feel healthy. I'm getting ready to have a salad and pita and hummus um, from the Mediterranean place and uh, I went and picked it up so it didn't cost as much. Today, um, while I would love to go to the pool and all that good stuff, I'm not. I'm gonna stay in and clean and uh, just in case um, my friends and I are able to go out to the lake tomorrow. It all depends on the conditions of the lake. If we don't do that, if it's not safe, etc. Uh, water's not clear enough, whatever, um, then I'm just going to go to the pool here. So um, trying to make tomorrow clear so that I can do fun things, whatever that is. Um, and that is what I have to report for now. Uh, oh, my hysterectomy is scheduled for a month from now. Um, and so I'll try to keep you updated with that. My parents will be here the first couple of weeks. I obviously won't be doing too much in the way of videos that first couple of weeks, but after that, I'll update you. And I'll try to update you a little bit before and during my recovery and, that, and use my phone uh, when I have some private time uh, to myself. I'll keep you a little bit updated there, but um, I, I don't imagine I'll have too much. I just uh, just wanted to update you on that. I'll get started on this video. I'll probably be able to crank out a couple more videos, two or three more videos before surgery. And then, um, so I don't know when the surgery one will go up. Um, there will be probably at least a two week break between videos. I don't know though. Um, so probably around July, there'll be a break of some sort. Um, anyway, that's my anticipation. And that's all I know right now. Um, if I go out on the boat, I'll bring you. Um, that's it. I'm gonna eat. <laughs> I'm gonna eat um, and uh, I'll share the pool or the lake with you tomorrow and whatever else is going on with me.